Hey guys and welcome to Thankful Thursdays with Rachel and I. So the topic that we're looking at this week was um, a question that I chose and it came in from the feedback video so it is anonymous and the question says how do you deal with it when doctors are telling you that you are beyond help? Now this is something that I definitely definitely relate to and I know that Rachel does as well and the first thing that I want to say is that in many cases that is a load of rubbish. I know Rachel's been told it and I've been told it and both of us consider ourselves to be recovered. In fact, last night I went out with a big group of friends. There was there was 12 people there. I didn't know half of them and we had a meal and it didn't even register to me. I didn't, you know, have an eating disorder thought there at all. So it really is possible to get from that point where medical professionals are telling you that you're beyond help, that this is as good as it gets, that you can't get any better, that you can get from there to recovery. My experience of being told I was beyond help really was absolutely awful. It was about two years ago and I was very, very severely underweight and I was really, really wanting somebody to help me. I didn't know how to progress in my recovery and I thought I need somebody to fix this and I was referred to a psychologist and the psychologist assessed me over two days and decided that I was quote unquote beyond help and I left that day and I just completely fell to pieces and I came home and I crawled into the bed and I was like fine I'm just going to stay here until I die and I was basically waiting to die and it that was the single most awful few days of, of my whole experience of my eating disorder honestly so I certainly relate to how distressing that can be and how did I get from that point to this point well I had my few days like I said I spent a few days curled up in bed completely ready to give up and then my partner came in to me one day and was like Kel you're not the sort of person that that gives up are you just gonna take what she said and, and give up is that it and I was like in that moment it sort of clicked and I thought I can't I just I just can't give up I can't take on one person's say or there's a couple of people really a couple of people's says that this is it this is my life this is as good as it gets and I just had to try because I just had to. So we had some material from prior eating disorders treatment that I'd had and a meal plan things like that. So what I did was I broke that down into sort of stages I could cope with in terms of eating and we started, my partner and I, to eat small points, small amounts. My partner didn't have an eating disorder but he was encouraging me along the way. So I started eating small amounts and then over the next few weeks we increased it slightly and I mean over the next few weeks I was definitely still eating a much much less than I should have been but it was also much much more than I had been eating and so I got to the point where I was eating small amounts and at that point that was that was enough to make me feel a little bit better and I, I was finding it very difficult and I was hysterical at meal times but I was doing it and so that gave me a little bit of sort of courage to keep going and then what we did was unfortunately um, we had to seek out private treatment, I had, to, I had to get another opinion from somewhere and the NHS weren't willing to give me that so we contacted several therapists and counsellors and Many of them said, or oh, if a psychologist said it, then we're not going to see her, or she's too underweight, or she's too ill, and you know, just repeating what I'd already heard. And every time somebody says that, it's just worse and worse and worse, and you think, okay, it's going to come to the point where I've got to accept this. But luckily for me, I eventually, a few weeks later, found somebody that was willing to see me, and since then, I really haven't looked back to my first appointment with the counsellor that I'm actually still seeing. I left with, you know, just enough hope to keep to keep me fighting, to keep me on the track. And it, I also realised in that appointment that, and through that process, that recovery was about 
me it wasn't about somebody giving me something to fix me it was about me fighting for my life me fighting to be healthy and to have the future that I now have and it's certainly been difficult and expensive but I'm here now and I'm healthy and I'm happy and I don't care if it had cost me a million pound then it would have been worth it because my life now is better than I could have imagined it to be in fact I couldn't back then I couldn't see a day ahead of me never mind months or years so if you're being told that please please don't give up just because one person says it or two people or ten people it doesn't make it true and as I said Rachel and I both are testament to that that there, there is hope and some of the things that I always mention that I do is I write a lot and that really helps me as well because I don't know sometimes it's hard to verbalize things to people but getting it out can be really useful in seeing what you can do to help yourself and I also stick quotes everywhere I like to print in reinforcing positive quotes to get me through as well and things like that really kept me going and they, they sound small and like they don't do anything but honestly they did and I would say if you're really struggling you're honestly welcome to message me and I think sometimes just somebody reminding you that you don't have to give up and that there is still some hope and some light can be a fantastic asset at that time you do you just you need somebody to have hope when you can't sometimes and when a doctor said you're beyond help that is like totally snatching all of your hope so hopefully that that talks a little bit about that question and please please don't feel alone in this because I think that you'll probably find to Rachel and I's videos today loads of people will comment saying that they relate to that and if they, if they don't comment and I certainly know quite a few people that do relate to it so keep fighting and don't give up until next week guys bye